brothers and sisters. In this weekly meeting, every Friday night, we try to go through the ayat of the Quran. We try to understand the message of the heaven. We try to feel that this book is a book for guidance, is a book for supporting and helping someone to become a real believer in the God, to become a real person who feel Allah in his prayer, who feel Allah in his dhikr, in his meditation, who feel Allah Azza wa Jal when he recite his word. All of these in the Quran and Allah Azza wa Jal make it to us sometimes very clear, sometimes not so clear. Sometimes we need help to understand. For this reason, Allah Azza wa Jal told us, فَاسْأَلُوا أَهْلَ الذِّكْرِ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ So ask the people of the knowledge in the book if you don't know. We reach the ayah number 77 in Surah An-Nahl, the number of Surah An-Nahl 16. So 1677. Allah Azza wa Jal said, وَلِلَّهِ غَيْبُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَلِلَّهِ غَيْبُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ And to Allah belongs the unseen of the heavens and the earth. وَمَا أَمْرُ السَّاعَةِ إِلَّا كَلَمْحِ الْبَصَرِ And the matter of hour, the matter of day of judgment is uh, like uh, an hour it's وما امر الساعه الا كلمح البصر so the the matter of day of judgment is like the uh, twinkling like the uh, glance it, it is like someone just move his eye this is the matter of the hour. Or maybe it's near than this. And in Allah ala kulli shay'in qadir. Of course, Allah is powerful over everything. Allah is over all things competent. So, this ayat is talking about the evidence of the existence of Allah Azza wa Jal. The evidence of unity of Allah Azza wa Jal. This ayat talking about the greatness of the creation of Allah, the fluent blessing and bounties from Allah to his creation, and also how Allah surrounding all the creation by his knowledge. And here the ayat focus on something very important, which is the unseen. The unseen. And one of the important thing in the unseen is the day of judgment. And this is what the ayat focus. And this is what the ayat give the importance of. So, وَلِلَّهِ غَيْبُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ The unseen is belong only to Allah. The unseen is knowing only to Allah. And this uh, unseen is two types for a human. Two types for a human. The first one is the unseen in the future. And this one, no one know it except Allah. What is the future? No one know it except Allah. Also the jinn don't know the future and they ask and they're afraid from Suleiman, the Prophet Suleiman, and they don't know that Suleiman already died, you know, but he is uh, put himself on his stick. So, but 
there is something unseen to us, but maybe unseen to other creation. For instance, we are here. We don't know what's happening in the other country. This is unseen to us, but not unseen to the people in the other country. I am here and my speed is limit, but there is creation has very uh, high speed. They can go and check and see. So this is unseen to us, but not unseen to the other creation. What we are talking here in the ayat is what unseen in future. And one of the most important things of the unseen of future is the day of judgment. No one knows, not a prophet, not an angel, no one. And Allah Azza wa Jal keep this unseen knowledge to him. Allah keep this unseen knowledge to him. And this unseen things is very important. Is very important. And Allah eliminate this and make this unseen only knowing by him. No one knows this child will be good or bad. No one knows how long, how his life. No one knows he will be sick or who, who will be healthy. All of these is knowledge of Allah Azza wa Jal. And Allah, and Allah Azza wa Jal in Surah Al-A'raf, Ayah 188, told the Prophet, Allah told the Prophet, قل, say, O Muhammad, لا أملك لنفسي نفعا ولا ضرا. I don't have to myself benefit or harming. إلا ما شاء الله, except under the will of Allah. ولو كنت أعلم الغيب, and if I know the unseen, the unseen, لستكثرت من الخير. I will, I will make a lot of goodness. If someone knowing what's going, he will go to the stock market and know the prices and he will be a millionaire in one hour. So, لستكثرت من الخير. I will have a lot of goodness. وما مسني السوء. And I will avoid any evil things or any bad things. إن أنا إلا نذير. I am is a warner. وبشير and I am a one who give you good news لقوم يؤمنون to believer people to the people who believe in Allah I am a warner and I am a person who bring to them a good news so this ayah as I said in Surah Al-A'raf 188 is very important it's talking about Rasulullah and who is who is more important than Rasulullah. Who is more Iman? Who is more than Rasulullah? No one. No one. And Allah Azza wa Jal told the Prophet, told, قل, O oh Muhammad, say, I don't own to myself bad or harm except what Allah will and I didn't know the unseen. And if I know the unseen, I will make a lot of khair and I will prevent myself from what is harming, what is bad. So, but sometimes Allah Azza wa Jal give the permission and give uh, something from uh, the unseen. And this is some hadith Rasulullah told us about the uh, future and still this for specific things. But this is the rule for uh, general. وَلِلَّهِ غَيْبُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ So the unseen is belong to Allah Azza wa Jal. So your relation should be with him. Your destiny should be in his power, in his hand, in his control. Your love should be to him. Your asking, your uh, hope, your everything you should connect to the one who own every uh, thing. One of the things make the people suffering that they connect to this or this. They believe in this or believe uh, in this. And they believe maybe this one will harm me or this one will uh, help me. No, it is not. We should take all the reason. We should do everything we can do. But the heart should connect to Allah that Allah will help us.
Allah will guide us. Allah will treat us. Allah will heal us. Allah will provide us. Allah will give us the rizq, the money, the knowledge. But we should do what we should do. So, وَلِلَّهِ غَيْبُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ So, people doesn't know what will happen. The war will be in future. The war will not, will not be in, uh, in future. All of these, all of these uh, give us a uh, great knowledge about the future. And also Allah Azza wa Jal in Surah Al-Ahqaf, ayah number nine, ayah number nine, told the Prophet, say, قُلْ مَا كُنْتُ بِدْعًا مِنَ الرَّسُولِ I am not different from the messengers. وَمَا أَدْرِي مَا يُفْعَلُ بِي And I don't know what will happen to me. وَلَا بِكُمْ And in you. إِنْ أَتَّبِعْ إِلَّا مَا يُوحَى إِلَيْ I just follow what Allah revealed to me. وَمَا أَنَا إِلَّا نَذِيرٌ مُبِينٌ And I am not except a clear warner. What is this ayat? It's very clear. And you know, it's an order from Allah to the Prophet Muhammad, not to the Sahaba, not to the scholar, not to, to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So this ayah is very important to understand that the future under the knowledge of Allah and how many people try to do and they give you something right but many things false because it's a matter of guessing and anyone can guess uh, going left or right okay uh, there's two possibilities uh, uh, if you go right it's okay if you go left if you go left it's 50 if you go right it's 50 so it's a matter of guessing but allah the only one who knows the future and this is very important for everyone to know this walillahi ghaybu samawati wal ard to allah belong the unseen in the earth and heaven wa ma amru as-sa'ati illa kalamh al-basar and the matter of hour of judgment the matter of the day of judgment is no more than of twinkling of the eye just twinkling this is this is how how fast it come this is how suddenly it come really really this this uh, ayah is very frightened very hor- horrible it's, it's just like twinkling in the in the eye or even quicker than this or ever quicker than than this and Allah Azza wa Jal told us about the hour in many position in the Quran. In many position in the Quran. And Allah told us about this hour, this day of judgment in different ways. In different ways and different names. So Allah told us about the day of judgment by the name is Al-Azifa. Azifat Al-Azifa. Al-Azifa, that means it is very near. It is very near. And also Allah Azza wa Jal told us about the day of judgment is Al-Haqqa. And the name of Al-Haqqa, that means it is truth. It is, it will happen sooner or later. And also Allah Azza wa Jal told us about this by the name of Ar-Radifa, Ar-Rajifa, and that the meaning of Ar-Rajifa, it's shaking everything, it's shaking the mountain, it's shaking the, the oceans, it's shaking everything, Ar-Rajifa, and, and, and this is the meaning of the earthquake, Ar-Rajifa, and Ar-Rajifa, that coming second, and this is the meaning of the second power of trumpet, and also Allah told us about uh, the day of judgment is the hour. Is the hour. What is the meaning of the hour? Yes, everyone knows the hour. Uh, but the hour which is 60 uh, minutes. Why Allah told us about uh, the day of judgment is just an hour. It, it gave us a hint that it is very fast. It is very fast. 
and it give us the meaning that the time between your birth and your death is an hour the time between the starting of a humanity and the day of judgment is an hour to give us that this life which you spend in it your interests which you spend in it your money which you spend in it your uh, heart which you make it more important than anything else it is just an hour it is just an hour but this is give the great meaning about the day of judgment and also allah azza wa jal mention about the qiyama many other name at-tam at-tam greatest disaster greatest problem allah azza wa jal told us also about the day of judgment al-ghashiya it will cover everything cover everything with what with calamity with great things with frightened things all of these and also allah told us about it al-qari'ah like knocking everyone knocking the hard heart knocking the uh, dark heart knocking the heart fooling with dunya the heart fooling with sins the heart which is far away from allah this al-qari'ah is knocking him and also allah azza wa jal told us about this day al-waqi'ah that something great will happen great accident iza waqa'at al-waqi'ah remember when the great accident the day of judgment will come really the uh, talking about the day of judgment is very great and allah give in the quran very big area about this day because this day is the most important day for all human it is the most important day for all humanity in as as all humanity and it is the most important day for the individual for everyone this is the day of uh, endless happiness or endless sadness it is the day of hell or the day of uh, paradise it's the day of someone will succeed will have a great win or will be a great loser for this reason this day is very important and allah azza wa jal told us about the importance of this day told us about how this day is great and if someone look that amru sa'a the matter of hour and as i said this has two meaning the first meaning is the day of judgment which is the day for everyone because in this day allah azza wa jal will judge the creation all the creation will be judged in that in that day so it is the day of judgment first of all this is the matter of hour and the second meaning is the hour of the individual every one of us has a specific hour sooner or later day or night tuesday or through the week any day any day every one and all of us we are coming day by day hour by hour minute by minute second by second to this day and allah azza wa jal make it clear make it clear he didn't say that all of you you will die because someone said oh prophet will not die because he is a... no no allah said in the quran inna kamaytun wa innahum maytun oh muhammad you will die and all of them will die and this is the hour of everyone so every one hour it is the time of uh, when he uh, left this life and also this matter will uh, be uh, no more than 
twinkling, very fast or shorter. And you know what? We know that there are a lot and a lot of stories here and there. Every time you go to funeral, you go to give condolence, someone pass away. How he died? Oh, yes. He just pray and say, Assalamu alaikum. And, and then he end. And then he end. You come to someone in the hospital. You left, he die. You come, it, it is just, it is just. Where, where are our grandmothers, our grandfathers? Where are uh, the president? Where are the rich people? Where are the doctor? Where are the professors? Where are, where are, where are? It's not enough. Omar ibn al-Khattab put in his ring. Kafa bil mawti wa'idhan ya Omar. Enough death as preacher to you. Enough breath, uh, enough death is uh, the one who push you to what is right and what is wrong. Death is a great lesson to everyone. It's a great lesson to everyone. And you know what? It is just a small time to everyone between him and his and his life, between him and his end. For this reason, I don't want to frighten you. I don't want to frighten anyone, but I don't want to deceive you. I don't want to deceive you. I don't want to uh, deceive uh, my, my, myself. It is very important. Allah Azza wa Jal said in Surah Al-Waqi'ah, فَلَوْلَا إِذَا بَلَغَتِ الْحُلْقُومِ He told us about the soul, about the spirit, when it will reach the throat. وَأَنْتُمْ حِينَ إِذِنْ تَنْظُرُونَ And you are looking to him. وَنَحْنُ أَقْرَبُ إِلَيْهِ مِنْكُمْ وَلَكِنْ لَا تُبْصِرُوا And we are closer to him than you. But you didn't see. But you didn't see. فَلَوْلَا إِنْ كُنْتُمْ غَيْرَ مَدِينِينَ If you are free, if human are free, and science can do everything, and we don't need God, so put it back. Retain the soul. It's challenging. Yes, it's challenging for all the Asiyah. It's challenging for all the people who didn't believe in God. It's challenging for everyone don't believe in the Quran. Allah told, this is the patient and this is the soul and we are closer to him than you. And you can do nothing when the soul or the spirit will live the, the body. So it's, it's great challenging. What's the people want to say this and they, 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 and the change and give a lot of lies and, 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 and do you know what? Because this is the will of Satan. Most of the people nowadays following the will of Satan. They don't follow what Allah asked them to do. They don't follow what Allah need from them to do. And all of these because they are ghafideen. They are heedless. I don't talk about the people in the street. I talk about the people in Masajid. I talk about the people who go into the uh, religious place, who go into the house of worshiping. Not the people who doesn't believe. So, can you return? Can you put this soul back? No, you are not. No, you cannot. So, for Allah, for Allah is the unseen in the earth and the heaven and the matter of our, the matter of day of judgment is like, like twinkling of the eye or even quicker. Of course, of course, in Allah, ala kulli shay'in qadir. Of course, Indeed, Allah is over all things competent. Allah is powerful over everything. So, you know now the ayat, the ayat now become clear. For Allah is the unseen and the matter of our is very quick, is very quick. And Allah is 
control everything. Allah is powerful over everything. Allah is over all things competent. What does that mean? Because someone said, oh, who talk about the unseen? Who talk about the matter of our? The one who can do everything. The one who control everything. The God is not weak. God is not some people coming and put him here or throw him here or punish him here. No, it is not. The God who is grateful and who is powerful and who is owning and controlling everything. Inna Allaha ala kulli shay'in qadir. This is the greatest of the Quran because the only lonely book describe Allah as he want to tell us about himself, as he want to tell us about his power, as he wants to tell us about his attitude and his attribute. All of these, all of these give us a great idea, a great idea about the destiny, about the end of our life. You know what? Today, There are billions of people don't know, don't know their destiny. And they said, okay, I don't want to think about this. Do you know what will happen? I don't know. And, and what is more problem that someone said, I don't care. Oh, it is not a matter of your care or not. If I'm going to a room and there is very big cobra, very big snake in the room. And I said, I don't care. So what? So it will kill me. It will kill me. It's not a matter if I care or I, or I don't care. It's a matter is what's going on, what's happening. For this reason, Satan want to take the faith from the heart of the people. Satan want the people to reject, want the people to be rejecter, want the people to sink, to drown in ocean of sins, in ocean of bad things in ocean of very dirty things. This is to get revenge from the humankind. May Allah Azza wa Jal give you khair and afia. May Allah Azza wa Jal understand his book. Really, I just, I just explain one ayah. But I want this lesson to be to you. And now, every one of you can teach the other people. Now, all of you are teacher in this ayah. All of you know the meaning of this ayah. And this will help him to teach the people around him, to teach the people he knows, to teach the people who communicate. Because believe me, believe me, believe me, the news in this ayah is much more important than any other news in every one life. It is much more important than any news in every one life. More important than the money, more important than the life, the children, the family, the everything. Please focus on this ayat. Make this ayat your symbolic in this life. Make this ayat your leader in this life. And if it is not clear, please let me know. Maybe I will help you more. May Allah give you khair and afia. May Allah accept from all of you. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Al-Fatiha. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan al-rajim. Bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa afdalu salati wa atamu al-taslimi ala sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Allahumma a'inna ala dawami dhikrika wa shukrika wa husni ibadatik. Wa la taj'alna ya ilahna ya mawlana min al-ghafilin. اللهم أرنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباعه وأرنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتنابه ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين إلى شرف النبي وأرواح المؤمنين الفاتحة